Deep Space Nine, the passenger, and it was just the forehead. Then I did Vecor in The Next Generation for two episodes, and it was two side pieces like this. And Okay. Then they got me the Babylon 5, and they discovered me all of them. The only thing exposed to air when I was fully dressed and fully garbed were my lips. Even my eyes were covered. So it was pretty hard to act through all of that makeup. It was a challenge because we call it mask work, where you can't rely on your eyebrows and you know doing things to indicate your emotional response. You almost have to be very careful with how you say lines and what you do with your body language. So when you watch between Andreas and I, we over accentuate certain things. How we turn our head to indicate that we're listening. We do this a lot. But if you look in nature, so do animals. And that's kind of where we took our cue. Someone cocking their head, you know, an animal cocking their head to hear, a dog raising their head. So the idea would be that we are listening more with our entire body. And a lot of actors just rely on facial expression to emote how they feel. We couldn't rely on that. So on some level, it was really challenging and hot. Oh my God, we had, oh Lord. We were out in the middle of, uh, I'm sure you've heard, we were in a, uh, what's it called? Like a retrofitted juice factory. It wasn't even a real studio, it was a warehouse. And it was about 110 degrees in that damn thing. And they couldn't run the air conditioning because of the sound and the camera. So usually by about, you know, End of that day, all that heat had kind of just percolated in there. 